Hi there, Rissy here with another episode of Rissy's Room. And I'm so excited because it's Wacky Wednesday. I know, I know, every time I read to you, it's a Wacky Wednesday. And that is my favorite day of the week. So I'm so excited to share this book with you. And I'm even more excited because guess what y'all? This is the first library book I'm reading. It's called Blackout by John Rocco. He wrote it and he actually drew all the pictures. So it's a very, very, very pretty book. And the best thing about it is that I got it from the library. Our libraries here aren't, aren't open yet, but you can still pick up books at the library, which I'm so grateful for. So if you have a special request, guess what? I think now I can read exactly the book that you want, as long as you let me know well in advance, because I can then go to the library and borrow it. How about that? That's pretty cool. All right, so today's book, Blackout by John Rocco, is actually going out to one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. And it's going out to Jessica because soon she's going to be bringing a new little reader into the world. And I wanted to dedicate this book to her because it's a summertime book, and specifically a summertime book that happens in a city. And so I wanted to share this book with you, Jessica. It's a really, 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 really pretty book. And I like the story. All right. Are you all ready to find out what happens when there's a blackout? <sighs> blackout. It all started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. Ugh. And then he said, inside everyone was busy. Get out! Sorry, much too busy. And then the lights went out. All of them. Mom! Nothing worked at all. The city was dark and quiet and still. We huddled around flashlights and candles <coughs> until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside. Can we go? So we went up and up and up to the rooftop and found the lights. They're also called stars. And people, it was a block party in the sky. We waved to everyone, then heard other sounds below. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on! A party was going on there too. Free! Yippee! La 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 la. And no one was busy at all. When the lights came back on, everything went back to normal. But not everyone likes normal. Uh, I gotta go. Good idea, buddy. The end. <sighs> I really, really love that book. It's so great. It kind of reminds me of right now, like when we're all at home and there's this thing happening around the world and we all were bored for a really long time, I think. We were all stuck in our houses, but now we get to see each other. Of course, we're staying six feet away and we're wearing our masks, but at least we don't have to stay inside in the sticky, sticky hot. And I remember there was one time when I lived in New York and there was a blackout and it was a lot of fun. I got to meet a lot of my neighbors. So. Jessica, I hope you liked this book and I hope you read it often to the new little reader that's coming into the world. And I hope everyone does something fun that is out of the ordinary, that's not normal. I hope you do something not normal this week. 
All right, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll see you next Wednesday.